this week we're going to learn about stream health and what ways we can tell if a stream is actually healthy. What are some ways to test stream health? A few ways we can tell if a stream is healthy is by taking careful observations of what lives there, plants, animals, all kinds, just assessing the habitat. And other ways that we can tell are by running tests such as water quality tests and benthic macroinvertebrate tests. More on benthic macroinvertebrate tests later. So one way you can tell how healthy a stream is is by testing the pH, which we have pH strips right here. Let's look at a picture to help us understand. This is the pH spectrum. It starts at zero, which is the most acidic. You can see there is battery acid, stomach acid, and lemon juice. And if you look all the way at the end, you see soap, bleach, and drain cleaner. I for sure wouldn't want to be swimming in lemon juice or bleach, so it makes sense that fish and other organisms in a river wouldn't want to either. Now if you look in the middle, you see water is at number seven. So when we test the pH of rivers and streams, we want it to be around 7, and that is one indicator that a stream is healthy. If the pH of the river gets too far from the 6 to 9 range of neutral, it can disrupt functions from all types of organisms, including salmonids. Let's take a trip to the Salmon River to test pH. Now we're going to test pH with this pH strip right here. We're going to dip it in the water. Okay. And we're going to let it sit for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and look to see what color it is. Five minutes later. It seems that our water's pH is 7. This means that today, the Salmon River is at a good pH for salmonids to live in. But that's not always the case, especially in areas that have been greatly altered. Today, our rivers and oceans are at risk of changing pH. With agricultural runoff, industrialization, and global climate change, rivers and oceans are at risk of changing and becoming more acidic and more difficult to live in. And what was that other test again? Aside from assessing the health of a river by doing water quality tests, we can also do this really fun activity called benthic macroinvertebrate tests. Macroinvertebrates are animals that don't have backbones and they're visible to the naked eye. Many of them are bottom dwellers, such as insects, crustaceans, clams, snails, worms, and even arachnids, which are spiders. Benthic refers to anything associated with or anything that occurs and lives at the bottom of the water. These surveys can help gauge the general health of the stream. Let's go take a look and see what we find. We headed down to Camp Creek. After we used our nets and we dug around in the gravel to look for macroinvertebrates, look what we found. This is some mayfly. And mayflies are really important for the ecosystem because they help recycle nutrients and are also food for fish. But they're also what is known as pollution intolerant, which means that they're not very happy when our water is dirty or polluted. So these species are an indicator that our river is healthy and clean. That's awesome. These are just two tests that scientists do to track the health of a watershed, but there are so many more. Next time that you go out, take some time to make some observations and write them down.